Hello and welcome to another episode of Rusty's Collection and the third instalment of the roof renovation. So in episode one I showed the cleaning of the roof and in episode two I showed the recolouring of the roof to remove to remove any white marks which were showing on the roof and if you haven't already seen those videos please check those out now on my channel so today we're going to be going through the final process which is waterproofing the roof so we're going to add a waterproof covering and that takes about three hours to dry probably in this sun a little less and then we'll add a second coating so i've got enough for two coats and then we will be done with the renovation of the top Okay, so the first job, once again, is to clean all the bits off the roof. So we've got some bits on here ready for adding the coating. So let's get on with that. Okay, so with the roof having the bits removed from it, we're ready to now get on with adding the waterproofer. So it says on the bottle, don't shake it, just pour it into a container and then stir it up. So that's what we'll do. And then we'll get on with applying the waterproofer. Okay, so that's it uh, applied, the first coat. So we're now gonna leave it for uh, about three hours and then come back and apply a second coat. And then once we've done all that, probably leave it for about 24 hours and then see what the final results are of the top. See you in a bit. Welcome back. So it has been more than three hours. It's actually been over 24 hours because it was absolutely baking with sun yesterday afternoon and you're not supposed to do this in direct sunlight. So I've waited for it to be a little bit overcast so that we can put the second coat on. So here we go with the second coat of waterproofer and then we will see how that dries and what effect it's had. Okay, so that's the second and final coat of waterproofing done. 
And as you saw, it was much more difficult to get it in. I really had to work that in. So it's definitely got waterproofing properties already before that second coat. So I've also given the car a thorough wash to get rid of any excess residue on the car body from the uh, from the three goes, although I did wash it uh, each time. I've given it another final wash and then I'll probably give it another wash again tomorrow. So I'm going to leave it for 24 hours to dry properly and then we'll see the final results and give our verdict on how that has gone. So far I think it's gone pretty well, it's looking pretty good. So I will see you again in uh, 24 hours just to give a final roundup. See you then. Okay, so it's been another 24 hours and the car has now dried off. So let's have a look at the results and see if we got the results we wanted. So the roof has now, we've got rid of those white marks which we saw on the roof. So there's no white marks now on the roof. Um, it is a darker blue than I wanted. So when I first used the cleaner, the roof came up in a lovely bright blue finish. And um, in hindsight, I probably should have looked and tested the colour. That's the that's the only thing I can I, I can say about the finish that I'm not 100% happy with is it, it is more of a navy blue now than it was um, after cleaning it. So it was kind of this colour, but then when I cleaned it, it, it did come up in a, in a um, in a nice bright blue colour. And, uh, and then when I recolored it to get rid of the white marks on the roof, which it has done perfectly and it is a really good finish, um, but it is uh, not that bright blue which it was after the cleaning process. So the, the main thing that I wanted to do was I wanted to um, uh, waterproof the roof because it just saturated through, if you remember from the first video. If you haven't seen that, take a look at that now. Um, actually, I will I will put up a side by side of of what that looks like. But what you saw was the um, was the when you sprayed water on it, it just saturated in. There was no there was no beading of the water there at all. So let's have a look at that now. So before I sprayed this part of the car and it just saturated in. So let's have a look, see what it looks like now that we've waterproofed it. <laughs> Look at that, just beads off straight away. There is no saturation at all. It, the water just sits on and beads off, doesn't soak in to the canvas at all. So that is now lovely and waterproof. So what did I use to do this job? I used uh, Renovo. I didn't want to say what I'd used to start off with because I wasn't sure of the results. But uh, I am happy with the results. As I say, just that uh, just that thought about the colour. They only do a dark blue um, colour. I've seen on the um, on some of the forums, some people saying they do blue and dark blue, but they don't. They do black or they do dark blue, dark red or dark green. They don't do a mid blue colour, so I'd have to look elsewhere. But been as I've done it once now. I'm confident now to do it again um, next year or, or whenever it needs doing. Obviously, it probably needs um, waterproofing again um, next year, but uh, shouldn't need recolouring anytime soon. So this is what you get in the in the kit when you buy it as three items. You get a 500 um, mil um, cleaner which I've still got about half left. So I only used about 250 mils of that. You get 500 mils of the recolor. To be honest, uh, I would have probably liked to have done another coating. Although I have got a nice even coat, I probably would have liked to have put another coat of that on. So I did use all of this, so probably could have done with a liter of that. And then you get a liter of the waterproofer and um, I did run out towards the end because that second coating really would not 
um, it wouldn't go in. I had to really work it in because it was waterproof. So I had to really work the brush to get the second coat in. So I used a lot more on the second coat than I did on the first. So uh, probably could have done with another 500 mils of that. Um, so if you're thinking about doing this, um, this, this is a really good product for it. As you can see, it's come up really well. Um, no tide marks on the colour. It's um, it beads off, so the waterproofing works fantastically. Uh, it doesn't damage the paintwork at all, as far as I can see. I've, you know, I did wash it off in between. I did uh, wash the car thoroughly. I probably it has put a, a few marks on these on these uh, bars here, so I probably want to. I uh, want to go over those with a cleaner that's a bit better than just soap and water. But other than that, absolutely fantastic finish. I think it's great. So that's it. That is the recolouring and refurbishment of the top. I think that has come up absolutely brilliantly. I'm really happy with the finish. And I hope this has been of interest to you. As always, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for now. Bye.